Welcome back. Today we have the new 900 Global Eternity. Don't forget to subscribe or hit that notification button if you want to see more of our videos. If you like what we do, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe and check us out on Patreon. For first impressions, the Eternity is the real deal shiny ASIM we've grown accustomed to over the years from the Storm family. As I promised previously, we completely resurfaced the reactor gloss finish on the Eternity with 500,000 and then step 2 compound. This still gives it some shine, but with some teeth underneath that shine. And, and that out of the way, I want to start with Tyler this time in the review, given I'm still in hip replacement recovery mode. And for Tyler, the Eternity simply looked spectacular. Now I will say, this is a bit of that skid flip type category. Um, it's, it's clean, angular, heavy roll that you get from a bigger ASIM core. Tyler immediately saw that big angular motion down lane and immediately scooted further left. I mean, once he made that move, it was just trust city. Yes, this is more ball than Tyler typically uses in terms of how much down lane motion. He doesn't usually reach for balls, you know, with that much bang, but he still really enjoyed tossing the internity as it really was a simple stand left, pitch right. He could get pretty deep into the fifth arrow and beyond if needed. There wasn't much of a limit in terms of recovery. Yeah, there are a couple of shots I'll show you here where he pitches out a little wide and it didn't fully recover. But really we've grown accustomed to how this particular house pattern plays here. If you get out to the friction too deep, like beyond 40 feet, the ball just stops and dies. It doesn't matter what ball. The Eternity fits in the mid defined category for Tyler and the rest of us for that matter. So does the Exotic Gem, which we happen to have with us. And that's also a big pearl ASIM, but you can clearly see the micro tracks and different core create a pretty different shape on lane for also a shiny ASIM. Exotic is definitely earlier and rollier, less of that skid flip look. Um, exotic gem in this, you know, for Tyler had a little bit less board coverage, but a rounder look that is probably a little easier for Tyler to manage if he were to choose between the two. I'm up next and yeah, I'll preface, I'm, only, I'm still maybe only 70% of the way after hip replacement. However, I can still test and get a good idea of what the ball can do. And I had a bit of a challenge with the Eternity for a few reasons. I would say one, you know, some inconsistency on my part. Two, the, the sharper down lane reaction exacerbating that. And three, the house found it itself due to the kind of extreme over under that it's developed into. What I should have done was actually scuffed the final refinished surface with a 3000 pad to take a little bit of the shine off. Uh, uh, you know, this house shot has become very non-conducive to shiny stuff for me. Nevertheless, Firstly, you know, physically looks a lot like the Rotor Grip Hypercell Fused. Love that ball. Uh, even more reason for me to want a little surface as the Fused had, you know, a, a, a little roll in the mid lane and less of that skid flip look. Somewhere right around the third arrow was ideal for me. At the end of the day, as a rev, rev speed matched lefty, I can see a clear mid-defined motion that can slot right in the bag. I do like a little more rolly look since the left side has less built-in friction, which causes sharper balls to be a bit more over under. It would be a tough call for me between say the Eternity and, and Exotic Gem, but I will try a little more surface on the Eternity and see if it brings it closer as I do like what's going on here with this ball. Next is Brian, and we've talked previously about mid-defined balls for him, and, and they can tend to be tricky. Why is that? Well, because while they are clean and have some down lane motion, the more forward roll of most ASIMs seem to limit how much he can move with them. So there is a, a clear sweet spot where the Eternity looks magical. You know, he played through, say, 12 to 13 at the arrows with a small belly to about 10, and, and that just looked great. It just could not really miss two boards in as it'll go high and, and two boards out, it just won't make it back. You know, so there's a little bit of room there, just not a ton. He tried to move a, a little left, but the Eternity reaction is just a little thin or, or shallow to recover. The, the core just stands up a little too late. It's, it's probably really just a, a little too clean. Um, he also tried a bit more direct from say 10 to 8 and that also looked good, but he started to find a little over under near the edge of the house shot. So overall, he found the ball pretty arky, which gave him that nice look from a, a bit further in. But he felt like maybe it was a touch too small of a zone um, he had to play with. 
Now looking quickly at the exotic gem, and you can immediately see how the earlier and rollier nature of that ball makes it look so different to the Eternity for Brian. Ultimately, the exotic looked quite a bit stronger for him and covered more boards. So let's wrap up final thoughts. The, the 900 Global Eternity returns that famous shiny, asim, long and angular look to the Storm family that I usually put in the mid-defined category. Personally, I like a little rounder shape out of the 900 Global side, but no matter, I mean, the Eternity is clearly a mid-defined ball and you can manipulate the cover as you see fit. Just be aware that if you are a rev dominant bowler, kind of like uh, Tyler, the Eternity will be pretty sideways, especially if you have a lot of uh, uh, side rotation. Rev speed matched, uh, like myself, will still see the long and strong motion. If you've been looking for a grip it and rip it type of shape, again, 900 Global delivers that.